She's joining us from the Fox Business Network. Apple seems to own a lot of our lives now. Are they going to be in it even more with this new headset? Well, they're worth $3 trillion. Apple's worth more than the entire UK stock market, which you know is the third largest in the world or bigger than the Russell 2000 here. So, so far, we've gotten a new MacBook Air, maybe some new software updates like AirDrop, et cetera. But remember that Steve Jobs likes to do the one more thing unveil. So they'll likely keep the headliner, that mixed reality headset, for probably the end in the next hour. And yes, this is the Apple's first new product launch in almost a decade since the Apple Watch. And it's not going to be cheap, Sandra, likely costing $3,000. So maybe not for everybody, at least not at the start. Now, that's almost three times the price of Meta or Facebook's Quest headset as well. And they're not going to sell a whole lot of them, at least on the first year, maybe 900,000, which isn't a lot for Apple, given that they sell 200 million iPhones each year and generate $200 billion in sales each and every year. And this new headset, it won't even ship until closer to the holiday. So maybe something to look at for your young son, perhaps. (laughs) Apple doesn't always get everything right, as you mentioned, at least not at first. So think of the recent complaints that you've heard about Apple's high interest savings account, attracted a billion dollars in deposits in the first four days. But, you know, a few users say that they couldn't get their money out or at least not fast enough. Now, can Apple also get average folks like me and you to do the virtual worlds and maybe wear a computer on our face? You know, (laughs) Facebook can't even change. Well, Facebook changed their name to Meta, but they can't seem to get any traction or change people's minds. And there's also concern in D.C. How big will they let the Silicon Valley giants get? And how much of our lives should Apple own? Because we know that it's already the dominant iPhone seller here in the U.S. Also, they're into banking, health, and internet satellite, et cetera. So the actions from D.C., you know, they, they blocked that uh, $68 billion yeah. Microsoft Activision Blizzard, Call of Duty, Game Maker. That deal is getting sued right now by the How FTC. much did you say the company's valued at now? $3 trillion. I mean, I'm looking at that, the market cap. And I'm looking not to get too crazy in the weeds here, but you and I talk finance (laughs) all the time. We do. The price to earnings ratio for those who follow that on stocks to determine whether they're cheap or expensive, it's still, even at these record prices, still not that expensive. Yeah. I mean, it's at a 30. Wow. Okay. So I think the average is 18. So you're right. Price here. Premium. That is something. All right. We'll watch for that new headset. Susan, thank you. John?